Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be looking at how to do your product photography. And this isn't a, um, like a technical one. It's how to fit in with what is going on on the current search for your type of product. Okay. So this is a masks search. I just searched masks. And you can see that this is made in the USA. You can see they have different colors and you can see the shape of the mask. This is a UK, right? So this is somebody who's selling from the UK. You can look at these and see where they're being shipped from. So that leads me to believe that there are maybe some being sold from the from China or from another country, say for the UK people that they're being sold in the United States and the lead time, the, the shipping time would be very long. So we know if I was selling masks, I would for sure say the company they're made in, right? So it's done in a di couple different ways. This has a little made in the USA stamp. This says made in the USA. This says UK. Okay, let's keep going. This one says same day shipping. So this is another shipping concern. So you would think with a mask, you wouldn't have all of these um, like kind of tucking points, right? But three, let's see, I'm checking for ads. These are not ads, right? Okay. So one, two, three, four of the top eight have a message in them that's regarding shipping. So that is something... When I was doing my um, pictures, I would look at. Now it also, I think, looks like the fabric types might be um, important. That could be something that people are looking. This is make them laugh. There's another little note on it. Um, and then there's a question of, do you use a live model or do you use um, a, a head? Now this person is, is using just a frame but it everybody else is using a real person right so if it was me i would be using a real person to um to model my masks okay let's keep looking now we've got um uh, ponytail caps so i was thinking of the um the kind of crochet ponytail caps but let's take a real quick look first and see what ponytail caps look okay this one has a lot of words choose your fabric and then look it has all these different kinds of fabric on it none are these ads it's hard to tell anymore let's see this is i bet you this is an ad is there some way we can tell what is no nope. Um, okay. I don't know if those top ones are ads. These are trucker caps. Crisscross high ponytail cap. Oh, look at that. So this is kind of cool. I didn't know this was a thing. They added extra space up here at the top so you could pull your ponytail out higher. Ooh, fun. So then they're showing both the front style and the back style. This is navy scrub hats, right? And you know why it's not coming up? Because they're winter caps. So these are summer caps, right? Um, look at that. That's got an extra ponytail thing. So see on this one, they're showing the front of the cap and then the back of the cap. On this one, they have, I think, a logo. This is the first one's that I've seen, well, we can't tell if these guys, nope, that's on a person, person. We don't know what that's on. Person, frame, person. So this one you could have more leeway, right? This one you don't necessarily have to have a person model, but you could use maybe a, um, a model head. Okay, let's keep looking. Artwork, I did a search just for artwork. So here, if we're going to say we think the first line is ads, let's go to the second line. 
So this one's talking about stuff, right? Bundle all three. Here's just a picture of the artwork. Here is artwork in a frame. Yellow flower artwork. Oh, that's a vintage print. So that would be there. This is a mock-up. I bet you this is somebody who um, ships, pays, you know, prints it at a, oh, ooh, interesting. Um, art, bulwark, ooh, that's beautiful. Printed abstract art, add, oh, there, add, it says there, add, does it say add up here? There it says add, okay, I found it, it's tiny, it's an add, okay. Wow, is that creepy. Never mind. We're not talking about that. There's another ad. Okay. Um, so for artwork, I'm getting the impression that it's a little bit all over the place. You can have, you know, the, the shown in place. You can have just the picture. Um, let's go to number one. That's not an ad and see what they do. Okay, run the race. This is a canvas art print and they're showing it with a little bit of, oh fun, they're showing it with a little bit of lifestyle, right? The different colored background, a little candle, but now they're showing the artist in her cool house. There's that same candle. Nothing fancy here, maybe hung up on her wall looks like maybe, and then showing the size of the artwork. So, you know, I think with this one, we could say that it is um, at least a little bit of lifestyle, like this isn't just on a white background, that is, but it's an ad, and that ad's working because they're number two in, in the search too. Um, not very many of them are just white right background so i would have a little bit of lifestyle okay let's look at our next one gold necklaces okay so we have ads in the first row tiny okay this is gold necklaces tiny lifestyle on maybe a marble this is on pink plain white okay and then on people so we have it hanging on a person hanging on a person a lot of hanging on people this one looks like it says something, but it sure doesn't say anything enough that we can see it. Okay. Anti-tarnished real, like, if I was going to go to the trouble of doing this, I would make it big enough that you could see it in search. Because once they get to the, um, to the listing, you've already done it. Okay. More on people, more on people. This is showing different styles of gold chains. This is showing in somebody's hand. So let's look at that. In somebody's hand. Well, a whole bunch of them showing. Showing the length. Showing the length. Uh, comes in a bag. Okay. Not an ad. All right, so I, it looks like you need to, so say you sell gold necklaces and you don't have a beautiful neck, it looks like the substitute for that is to do it against your hands, right? They're looking for some kind of human connection, human background. Um, this is kind of pretty, that's not an ad. So um, you could, but what you wanna do is you wanna try to find something that's similar to the things that are doing well. Now, this is my favorite category, vintage doorstops. Okay, so this is a cat that should do, oh my gosh, she should raise the price on that. Halloween's in. Okay, but that's shown in an area. This is shown a little bit of life. All of these are a little bit of lifestyle. So this is sticking out like a sore thumb, but not in a good way, right? You're not really getting the feeling. I like how they have this. So when you have a really tall picture, that they did beautifully. In fact, I have a thing. I'm so glad I saw that. I have a really tall dragon stand 
that I'm going to do this with because that's brilliant. Um, this picture's too small for the thing. This is cut off. Guys, like crop your photos right. Um, I love this. This is an ad though. Okay, so for vintage door stops, you don't have to go all nuts and get crazy, but you need to have a titch of a lifestyle, right? Like it has to be on a different kind of background. You don't want it to be um, just the white background. Okay, let's keep looking. Cat stickers. Okay, I like cat stickers. So you want to see how is it? So this is a person holding a cat sticker. This Oh, those are ads. Never mind. Boop, 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 boop. Let's move it down. Okay, so this is showing all the different cat stickers and it's a set, right? So that's, I know we're not doing product development, but if you're selling cat stickers, you may want to see, are they selling one at a time or as a set? Okay, black cat lap sticker, $1.95 and free shipping. So free shipping, we haven't really looked at shipping. But if I was looking at this, I don't feel like free shipping is mandatory for you because they are not all offering free shipping, right? Um, look at that. That's cute. So they're showing the cat over flowers, the cat over other cats, for 45 stickers. Nice. 45 stickers. I, I think that this represents 45 stickers better than this does, but... You know, what are you going to do? There's that one. It must be selling well from the ad because it's showing up on the first page. 45 stickers. Cute cat stickers. This one shows it on the car, like the cats on the car. This one is a uh, pretty poppy design. Oh, moon eyes art. So these are two different, two different people. So if I was selling cat stickers, I would have, and, and because you can do, okay, so here's the thing, because you're making cat stickers, right? I would have a set of cat stickers with the hands held. I would have a set of cat stickers piled up, and these are different listings, right? I would have a set of cat stickers with them piled up where you can see one clearly and the rest on the bottom. I would have a listing for a set of them where you get to see all the different ones. And I would split test those. So anybody who is making something that you can have multiples of, you have way more leeway than those of us who like sell vintage or something like that. Because you can make different listings. And I have a, um, a post about this. The Portland Leather Company. Portland leather. Okay. I did a search and they literally only have like 12 products. They have 600 and, oh, hold on. Those are, where's our Portland leather? Okay. All right. So this is them. So you have this bag, this bag, this bag, this bag. This is that bag. Okay. I think they're selling less here. And selling, oh, 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 here we go. Sorry about that. Doi. Okay, so read more. It's currently closed. They're highly, uh, they're not accepting orders. But if you go, I'll put a link to the to the site, uh, to the to the page. But they literally have this is the same item as this is. They only have a very small number of items, but they have eleven billion listings. Okay, this is for me. I'm doing my research, of course, and I found this so interesting. So if we take the ads off. When I did this a couple years ago, um, it was all this, right? Like just pictures of this. But if I look at this now, this is, there's um, notes on the picture. So real estate success, printable pages, the ultimate real estate planner 2020, 
There's a little word on there, I can't see it. 12 month marketing strategy plan, productivity power pack, right? This is doing good, uh, words, words, words. So this is mine, right? And so what I can do is I can take this because Etsy's, uh, Etsy's picture tends to be wide and not, right? So it's wider this way. So I may be able to take this, this one, and so let's say copy image. Oh, save image. And go into Canva. And let's see what these dimensions are. So this is 200 by 150. Okay, so 200 by 150 would be 400 by 300 would be 800 by 600 would be 1600 by 1200. So 1600 wide by 1200 high. I'm in marketing, not math. No judging people. All right, now let's upload. And I'm gonna go grab this, right? And let's see what we can do with this. So now I can move this all the way over here. Let's see, can we do a, um, I want just a fade. Oh, here we go, perfect. Okay, let's do this, but let's make this white. And let's move this over here so I get, I wanna try to blur this line. Well, I guess I can't do that. Ah, there we go. All righty. Okay, so I would do something maybe like this. I don't love that it is so, see I can't move this over here. I don't love that it is so like doing that, but then what I would come back here and do is look and see what are they doing? the ultimate real estate planner. So mine is real estate agent planner, right? So now I need to get me some text. And add that in there. I'm gonna go and do some work on this, but then I would save this. You guys wanna see it, don't you? Okay. Um, I want it in something that's cute, but readable. That's readable. Okay, 60. Okay, real estate agent planner, perfect. Um, I want to move this up. Boink. And then I'm going to put... some bullet points down here. Goal setting, printable, daily, weekly. Never lose a lead for buyer and seller agents. Okay, now we gotta make this all this, this way, right? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. 
All right, we want to see this now. This may turn into that thing we did, right? Where it made it hard to read. You couldn't really see it. Okay, so now we're going to download this. Download JPEG. Download. Let's edit this and see what happens. Because I have room. I have more pictures I can do. Oops, I guess I don't have more pictures I can do. Um, that one's doing good. That one's doing good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. We're going to add a photo. Desktop. Delete me is where it's going to be. We're going to put this in. We're gonna see, when we adjust that, it's going to be perfect. And we're going to say... Do our search for realtor planners again. We may have to refresh to see my new one. Okay, so now it's it's looking more like the other ones, right? It's looking a lot more with the uh, with the words they have. I may, you know, I may want to zhuzh it up a little bit. Um, I'm thinking I could. I would really like it to be on two lines. I would really like it to be left justified, and I would like this to be in more of a Times New Roman ish looking. There we go, that's what I want. Can we do bold? Okay, I'm still okay with it. Ooh, 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 I know what I need. Okay. And we'll be doing more of this this week. But let's do this, real estate agent planner. My planner is pink, so I don't really care if dudes don't like it. Let's do this in white. Uh, do we want it to be more of a copper color? Let's go with more of a copper color. Oh, that's better. Okay, we're going to put this up here. Download. Okay, we'll do a ping. I don't know if it takes pings. Let's download it. Oh, let's try it. Uh, edit. Oh, this one's getting long. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to add a photo. Oh, good. Okay. Fits perfectly. Save. So, we saw that, that, that pictures with words did so much better even for headbands, things like that. So no matter what you're selling, I almost feel like trying some with words. Oh, there we go. It looks good. And there's an ad. Okay, so I like how that is. That's kind of jumping off a little bit. I could maybe do black, um, but I'm not unhappy with that. So hopefully that helps with that. And don't forget, I will put the link to the uh, having multiple listings if you have multiple products in the description. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.